It has been a hot minute, ladies and gentlemen, since we have been excited for a brand new format. So destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that like and subscribe button, because we have a lot of decks to go through on a tier list. It's been a hot minute since we've done a tier list. I'm just going to jump right on into it, because uh, this is one that I found, because as I've said before, I don't know how to make tier lists. So I just got to go based off what other people put on here. So, of course, we got the tier 0, tier 1, tier 2, Rogue, and our... P -p 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 patented booty booty butt cheek category this is of course the category where if you're playing these decks you are going to get your booty booty butt cheeks destroyed at table 500 ladies and gentlemen so sit back relax grab a drink grab a beer grab a cup of coffee help you take a dump in the morning like me <laughs> enjoy that image as we dive on into these decks like i said i don't know how to make these so if there's some decks on here that i just don't know i'm just going to put them in like the booty booty butt cheek category like this card here or deck i can't tell what this is based on the picture i i want to say it's earthbound but that can't be right this is something i can't tell what it is um so we're just going to put it in the booty booty butt cheek category um so we have the new list, right? Uh, they did not touch Snake Eyes at all. However, they did hit Link Karibo, Baron de Fleur, and Borlode Savage Dragon, which were three main cards that Snake Eye decks in general would use to help create their end board, whether you were using the Cash Tira engine, Fire King engine, what have you. So the output of the engine is going to be not as explosive because now you don't have access to those Omni Negates. And I think, on a side note, I think it's great that Konami is hitting these Omni Negates because now you don't have to necessarily worry about Negates. It's just a matter you have to worry about interruption of, you know, the opponent playing on your turn, but they'll, like, maybe make a Little Knight or an Appalosa, one or two, like, maybe a Negate or, like, a couple of interruptions, a Negate in the form of Appalosa, of course, and that's really it. So... I think really it's because of the Snake Eye engine that those cards got hit, but we'll talk about that in a separate, you know, Fallout discussion video. So be sure that you got notifications turned on, hit the bell, and of course hit that subscribe button. Um, so in no particular order, we're going to go ahead and go through these. Um, let's start off here with Snake Eye Fire King. This covers Snake Eye in general. I think there's also a Snake Eye picture on here. Yeah. Uh, Snake Eye, Snake Eye, Fire King, whatever version of Snake Eye you want to play. I don't think there's any other versions on here that I'm scrolling through real quick. Um, Snake Eye is still tier zero. Uh, I believe even with these hits, even though I just said all that, with all that being said, I still feel that Snake Eye is a tier zero engine. Maybe not necessarily a tier zero deck, but the engine that Snake Eye offers. And keep in mind that we're getting, uh, what is it, Dia Bells, the original Sin or whatever it is. We're getting another Dia Bell Star Black Witch Simple Spoil type of monster in Legacy of Destruction. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's pretty decent. And I do think that moving forward, at least for the next three or four or five months, we're going to be in a Tier 0 Snake Eyes format. I mean, I bought up my Wanteds and Dia Bell Stars as quick as I could, um, and now they've already like exploded, and we're going to have a Market Watch later tonight on that. But if you're not playing these cards, you need to play a deck specifically designed to beat them, whether it's Stun, Runic Stun, what have you. Snake Eye, Snake Eye Fire King, Snake Eye Electric Boogaloo uh, with a Toilet Plunger on the side is going to be the decks to beat. Um, the same here, uh, Fire King Dogmatica, it's another flavor of the month with the Snake Eye stuff. It's basically budget if you can't afford the Snake Eye stuff. It's rogue, it's cute. I think it just kind of loses because the Snake Eye cards are just better quality cards. Um, same goes for this, and if you're playing straight Fire King, then you're just really on a budget. Um, Flunder is rogue because it bricks and loses to itself, and it's honestly kind of garbage. Um, Stun, it's the definition of rogue, so like you can't put it in anything higher than that. Gate Guardian is booty, booty, butt cheeks. You don't have three TC boo anymore. That deck is garbage. Uh, all ver versions of Runic, I don't care if it's Sprite, Runic, Electric, Boogaloo, Dark World, uh, Toilet Plunger, Runic, it's Rogue. Uh, I'm not seeing any other Runic here in the immediate vicinity. Ah, here we go. Go Goaty Runic, you're better off playing Runic Stun, but sure, let's just put it all together. Uh, straight Goaty is Booty Booty Butt Cheeks. Uh, that deck is garbage. Uh, what is this? A This is some sort of Snake Eye deck, but I mean, sure, let's just put it in Tier 1 because it's not regular Snake Eyes. Um... Okay, we've kind of cleaned this up a bit. Tier Element Horus. I'm going to put this in Tier 2 because Shifter does exist. Shifter did not get banned, right? So Tier Element and Tier Element Horus, by extension, I feel are very decent Tier 2 decks that when they pop off, they're one of the best decks in the room. But if you hit them with, you know, Shifter, then they're crapping all over the venue floor and they can't play. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Um, buy steel runic, it, it's, uh, pick your flavor of runic, like, it's all fucking rogue. <laughs> um, let's see, Harpoor is now at three, 
that's cute and engage is at three i saw yeah here's engage um is sky striker orcus gonna be a thing again I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's going to be tier 2. Same with this, because the Orcus Sky Striker stuff from Toss format is kind of tied hand in hand. Keep in mind that we also have Colossus back at 1. I'm very curious about this. Do I think it's going to take the meta by storm? No, because I think anything that doesn't play Snake Eyes is immediately at a disadvantage. But to go out on a limb and say that this is going to be tier 2, I don't think is that far-fetched. I think it's going to be really interesting to see if something from Toss format which is 2019, just five years ago at this point, which, Jesus Christ, that makes me feel old, and I'm only 27. <laughs> um, it's going to be interesting to see what this can do. Um, Snake Eye Rescue Ace is also Tier 1. That shouldn't be a surprise. Um, regular Rescue Ace. Well, regular Rescue Ace, I'm just going to put in Tier 2, because I think the Snake Eye stuff is just better. It's kind of fucking semantics at this point. Like, Sprite Runic, it's all rogue. I don't know who designed this, but they didn't do a very good job. Um... I'm putting this in booty booty butt cheeks. Like, why? Why, why are we putting Bite Steel Horse on here? Like, just play something better. It's the same concept. Um, same with Sprite. Like, no. Um, Dark Worlds. I gotta put in the booty booty butt cheek category. Only because of the fact that so many decks can play Droll and Shifter. And keep in mind that when we get Tempai Dragon, that they can play Shifter and or Droll if you go with the um, just straight version with no other engines. I'm not saying that that version is better. But it is something that people are going to try out. I just think Dark World has too much going against it. If Shifter were to get banned, I would definitely put it in the row category. Because then it's like, okay, you only have to worry about Droll. There's only a 33% chance to see it in a 40 card deck. Uh, but when you include Shifter and Droll, it's just the odds are so stacked against you. Who the fuck plays Cyber Dragon in 2024? I know that's going to piss off one of my subscribers. I know who it is, and I'm sorry, but Cyber Dragon's not good. Neither is Cyber Dargs. I'm sorry. I'm sure that will make you mad, subscriber. I know who you are, but... Please don't be mad. I'm just being honest. You know how blunt we are on this channel. Orcus Taurus. Um, sure. Let's put it in tier two, pimp. Like, who cares? Vanquish Soul fell off the map harder than my fucking love life. Who out here is playing the Flame Swordsman deck? That deck is garbage. Like, no. Booty Booty Ass Cheek with a capital B. Like, nah. Like, they, they twerking up in the club on OnlyFans. Drytrons have fallen off a cliff. Even with the new support, I don't think the deck's very good. Like, it just kind of gets dunked on by Shifter. Some people got mad in my video talking about the new support. They're like, what do you mean? The trap helps you play through Shifter. It's a fucking trap card. I'll leave it at that, pimp. I don't think Dragon Link really survives anymore. You know, they played both Baron and Borload, and I was actually messing around with the Dragon Link cards for Tempai because at worst you end on a Boral end, and if you have extenders, you can end, you can end on Dispatter. But without Savage Dragon, I don't really think I want to play the engine. I would kind of rather just go with uh, the Cash Tira stuff and play like Promethean Princess and end on Zelantis plus uh, Zongdora, aka Chungdora, which I think is a hilarious name. Um, and then you also have the Raging Phoenix and the Promethean Princess in the grave. So I don't think that Dragon Link cards are going to be the line to play Tempai with another engine. Um, I think it's definitely going to be the Cash Tira cards, which. Speaking of that, I'm going to put into Tier 1. I know that there's been some Snake Eye Cash Tier lists. I'm just going to put in Tier 1 because Cash Tier is a very splashable engine. I think as a straight deck, I think it's mostly like Tier 2 to Rogue. But when you start mixing in Snake Eye and Tempai, I think it moves up to the Tier 1 category. Um, this is obviously pre-Legacy uh, of Destruction or else I'd be putting Tempai in Tier 1. We're probably going to do another Tier list once we get... Um, uh, Legacy of Destruction. Uh, Virtual World is liquid ass. Uh, you have so many better choices. Voices Voice is still tier 1. Um, this deck did not get touched at all. I mean, some of them it got banned, but like, I don't think the deck really cares. Like, you set up your end board of uh, the Skull Guardian with the Continuous Spell and the Continuous Trap, and like, you're uh, you're riding well. Like, you got your you got your helmet on. You're ready to go, pimp. Um, this is Runic Earthbound. I'm specifically going to put this one in the Booty Booty Butt Sheet, because all these other versions are just better. I don't know why you play that version. Um, Raid Raptor is, like, tier 2. Like, it, it's a regional buster. It's, like, one of those things. Sun Avalon is rogue. Like, if you want to take the time to learn the combo, sure. You know, Yubel... Yubel I'm going to put in tier 2. It has a very good, um, Tempai matchup. But, you see, the problem is, is that Yubel, the loving defender, can just suck up the whole board with Super Poly. And I feel that Super Poly is going to be seeing play in a decent amount of decks, especially Tempai. Depending on the build, of course. Um, but because they have so much extra deck space, you just throw in a copy of Loving Defender and Super Poly cleans up the board. And then Ubel is not a hard matchup. So it's cool. I think it's going to be really good post lead. Um, but I just don't think it's going to be all that great. Uh, Phantom Knight Horus. There's so many different versions of Horus. Like, just play these better decks. It's booty booty butt cheeks. Jack Atlas, the master of faster deck, is garbage. I don't care what anybody says. I don't know what Revolution Synchron is supposed to mean. I'm assuming, like, 
Stardust Synchron the deck. Uh, that's that's garbage. Uh, like so many liquid ass booty booty butt cheek decks on here. Terra Tops at three. Um, and goblins are here. They're cute. I still think they're booty booty butt cheeks. Uh, Exo Sisters garbage. Uh, I went against that earlier today when I was playtesting some sixty card pile of trash. The deck is bad. If you don't see Shifter, you lose. Centurion is tier two. Um, they still have access to everything. You, they can still King Calamity you. Like, I don't know how King Calamity is just bobbing and weaving out here like he's got Miguel's Curse Technique and Jujutsu Kaisen, like, dancing around Sukuna Slashes and shit, but King Calamity's out here just vibing. I don't know what this card is. Uh, this looks like a rock. It looks like, I don't know, a rock throw in fucking Pokemon. Or rock slide, I don't know. Uh, I am not putting Chimera in Booty Booty Butt Sheet because Valley D will kill me. Uh, uh... Let's see. Uh, we're putting it in tier two. Even with the new support, I just don't think it can keep up. You hit the Burfa Met, um, and like, yeah, the the deck just kind of folds. Labyrinth is a uh, rogue. Yeah, a Labyrinth. They they hit you for one card out of your hand with Lovely Labyrinth. Like, okay, I guess. Like, heroes, you have three Mali now. If you're not at least rogue, I don't know what you're doing. Shout out to uh, my buddy Kevin Perez, who is our local hero player. If you're not topping a regional with three Mali, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Sword Soul is dead. It's uh, it's booty booty butt cheeks. Uh, branded, Albion still not banned. Uh, I gotta put in tier two. Like, okay, you can gimmick puppet lock, but if you don't pull off the gimmick puppet lock, like, what are you really doing? Like. I don't know. Dinosaur is booty booty butt cheeks. Salad is, uh, Salad's rogue. It's a good rogue pick. Um, what does Trap Trick do in 2024? This deck's bad. I don't care what anyone says. Black Wings are bad. Just because it top a couple regionals, it's bad. Pendulums are garbage. Unchained, you might as well put it with U-Bell. Um, because they kind of go hand in hand. Uh, what is this? Manadium? Manadium's tier two, sure. Uh, I don't know what this is, so, like, I literally can't place it anywhere. The picture's too small. Scareclaw, Man, and Diem go hand-in-hand. Hand. It's the same thing. Makonko's garbage. Uh, Purely is tier two. <laughs> uh, Man, and Diem, see, it's the same thing as they've got. I don't know. This is Man, and Diem. It's, it's tier two. Um, it's all the same thing. Uh, what is this? Is this Memento? Memento's booty, booty, ass cheeks, bro. And then this is Labyrinth with, like, Unchained. That's booty, booty, butt cheeks. So, yeah, you have a lot of tier two options. Maybe some of these can move up into tier one. Um, but it's just so lopsided when you're in a tier zero format. This is going to have to be wait and see with Orcus and Sky Striker and stuff. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'll put you, Bell, in tier one. Fuck it. Like, who cares? Um, that's as far as I'm going to go with that, though. So yeah, this is looking to be your format. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Fire Format 2.0, but now with less degeneracy, I guess. No more Jet Synchron. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. The booty booty butt sheet category is filled to the brim. Y'all are going to have to get a plunger for this shit. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.